Greetings from Polymath and Polyhedron. We are um, sitting in uh, Solusic A looking for fire goblins. And um, uh, really, we're just looking for a fiery ore. Oh, not fiery ore. We're looking for fire goblin skin so that uh, Polymath can fi basically finish a fashion quest. I have no idea why I'm here, why I'm doing this. I have no idea who I am. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Um, so I actually accidentally entered Nagathan's lair vis-a-vis Solusek A. Uh, a. Um, we did kill Singe by accident. Um, I think he literally just spawned on us as we're working our way down here. Uh, we worked our way past the cleric epic mob Gimblox, although he was not up. There are no clerics in zone. Usually there is. But um, this is Planes of Power. Every cleric on the server has... Um, has uh, his or her um, epic by now anyway. So um, so uh, we are kind of working back up this way. Um, I believe this is... Hmm, okay. So uh, we're going to basically work back up to um, this little uh, adjacent hallway. This way leads to a lava pit um, so what I'm going to do is basically just look for fire goblins, and uh, they're just uh, plain old fire goblins, rogue. They're rogues. Um, okay, visible wall there. And yes, I'm terrible. Okay, that's an inferno goblin, inferno goblin. I need uh, just regular old fire goblins, so I don't actually need these guys. So let's just, uh, uh, I think I, let's see here, height filter, okay. So let's go back the way I came. All right. Don't need those guys. Inferno, don't need them. Uh, these guys are, um, they don't really hit that hard, but the problem is, of course, there's just too many of them. So you like champion, um, make a good pet right there. Um... Fire Goblin. All right. Let's see if he drops the skin. And uh, I think they do heal through walls, but it doesn't look like he is. Um, it doesn't look like he has any buffs on him. So I think um, we're just going to send in the mage pet and uh, see if we can get a Fire Goblin skin. Hopefully we can. And Get out of here. It's nice the rogue pet with the uh, mage focus can tank these guys. Light blue mob pretty easily. Probably a um, dark blue mob as well. So we're just looking for plain old fire goblins. I think it's like a 20% drop rate off these guys. Uh, gosh. Where are you, Mr. Inferno? There you are. What are you hitting me for? Um, I could try to strip that off of them. According to, um, the website, um, according to the website, um, the, uh, fire goblins, uh, have a 20% drop rate, but usually, you know, that's the, uh, the internet with all of its glory. And uh, I think we really want to keep this guy rooted, don't we? Okay, there you go. Um, these guys are actually a pretty decent experience. Um, uh, let me just uh, see what I can see here. Probably a good thing to have, like, uh, use the gnome illusion here. <laughs> Being like a humanoid-sized um, erudite can make... Uh, you just navigation through these hallways a little, but it can complicate that. Fire goblin drunkard, huh? So probably a lot more fire goblins there. Let's see here. Sit. And basically what we've been doing is just hopscotching through these hallways. Um, let's see. Got invis there. Got invis here. Okay. 
So yeah, we just work back to cleric epic mob uh, uh, Gib blocks. He drops the signet um, in the um, in the classic era, both the signet and the um, uh, crown that drops off Bergurgle are um, they're pre pre lootable. Where's this guy? Oh, I was right on top of him. <laughs> Boom. Ah, the trains. All I want is a fire goblin. Okay. Let's go ahead and just pet this guy. And what enchanters live for. <laughs> go away. Okay. Come on, fire goblin skin. There we go, fire goblin skin. Well, it's going to polymath. Yes, sir. Cool. Boom. Alrighty, uh, let's just go ahead and just break the rest of this room, invis, and get out of here and do his turn in. Okay, so we have a fire goblin skin, a frost goblin skin. I think we need one more piece. Something else. Cool, fine steel. I'll take that. I'll take all this stuff. Yeah, so we were able to kill Singe, which was cool. Um, oh, crud. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and uh, break... He's blurred off. I think he's blurred off. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if you weren't blurred off? That would be awesome. Let's see what my experience is. 92. It's actually not too bad in Sully Sick A at level um, uh, 32. Alrighty. So let's just say find. Uh, let's go to Lava Storm Mountains and just follow the yellow big brick road. <laughs> uh, quality of life improvements. And I think I need to recast Levitate, so I think this is a good place to stop and make sure that uh, young man has Levitate on him. Boom. Because, um... You know, um, Polyhedron has the benefit of this um, illusion benefit, but Polymath doesn't have that, so I've got to be a little careful with him. And just to be a stickler, we'll add Levitate to myself because, you know, science. <laughs> 
All right, so um, let's see here. I have invisibility somewhere around here. There we are. Yeah, so we killed Singe on the way here. I got a cool um, um, earring. So uh, what I'm going to do is pause the video here and uh, head to get out of here and go to the Temple of Solisek Row and pick it up over there. Okay, back in uh, Lava Storm Mountains, I just uh, sent Polymath. I gated him up to uh, the Plane of Knowledge where he bought Elemental Armor. You need that scroll. Um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, you need a um, Fire Goblin skin, a Frost Goblin skin, and then the Twice Woven Cloak off the Fairy Guard. And that's in Lesser Fate Arc. Um, the Fire Goblin skin obviously drops in Solusek A, and then the um, Frost Goblin skin drops in uh, Permafrost. And then you hand that to Joyce, and no, I'm not going to Najna. <laughs> um, let's see here, let's go Height Filter, yes. Uh, go back to the Simple Solusek row, uh, find Joyce. I think I'm going to be blocked here, so I have to go all the way around. Yeah. Um, find Joyce in... Um, the Temple of Soul row and give her all that stuff and you get this brilliant red robe um, really cool fashionable cloak and I can go ahead and link it once I get to it but um, that's pretty much the mid-level gear um, you know other than that it's going to be um, you know just getting to max level learning how to do use these spells um, go away yeah um, the quality of life improvements, we did walk past the Agent of Change and being able to make your own designated zone. That just that just makes things so much easier. Um, and you can tell, like, to do... Like, this is actually a really good time to do your epic because, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, Gimblocks camp, that, that was not camped. I highly doubt Begurgle is camped right now. Um, I think... Um, MQs still sell, but I don't think they sell as well, uh, just because everyone has them. <laughs> and um, so, um, yeah, I, I haven't seen a lot of multi quests go go for sale. At least, um, not I haven't noticed with, with as much regularity as I noticed. Maybe it's just because I came into the server a little later. Um, and again, this is like an alternate server for me. I think we have like one more week on Mangler for. Uh, uh, the next expansion to come out and then pretty much kind of put these characters on hi hiatus until that time again my my end goal with these two guys is to uh, you know just get some like get enough gear to the point that i can go to um go to places um like Seblis and chardock and so forth and and uh you know see if i can um play around with that stuff um on my own um Let's see, to get to Joyce, uh, Joyce is right there, so we got to go take some stairs up. All righty, so that's this ways. Go up here. All righty. And this is all the mage uh, relevant stuff here. And, um, of course, polymath is on geometry. But, yeah, this pretty much ends his quest. All righty, so we're going to go... Give Joyce all this garbage. Boom. Yes. And let's go ahead and try the robe on. All right. Look at that. That is some style. Look at that. That is gorge. I might actually wear that. <laughs> um, when we, uh, if I just link the two items, um, let's go ahead and just, actually, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, boom. Boom. Enter. Okay, so when we look we look at polymath, we see the robe of the elements here, and then we see the crystal covered shroud here. This is a Lucklin era shroud. So you can sell three more AC cold resist. This one has fire and cold balance. This one has intelligence on it. This has intelligence wisdom. So you lose armor class, but then you get uh, summoning haste. So it reduces the cast time of a summon creature spell by 30% um, up to 44. Um, summoning haste, huh? So 
I guess that would matter if you're in the middle of a fight and your pet dies. Um, yeah, I think that's the only place would it matter. Um, surrendering three armor class. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a sideways move. I just think it just looks so cool. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and wear that for a few levels. Maybe sell the Crystal Covered Shroud. Um, this a Robe of the Elements is tradable. As I, I show that it's, it's lore, but it's not that it's no trade. So, um, probably hand me down to uh, another mage. So, anyways... Um, it's a big pickup for uh, my mage and a uh, really fun uh, quest to do out of Solusec Row. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, I might actually go back to Sol A um, or Permafrost. Uh, the experience is a little waning. I think probably it's better to go to um, probably the over there outpost um, and work rhinos and stuff. And maybe you see if I can get a group in the Dreadlands um, or even to... Uh, you know, um, some places in Lachlan, probably Dawn Shroud Peaks, somewhere like that. Okay, everybody, I, I really appreciate that um, you uh, putting uh, uh, putting up with me through all this, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, boring content. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>